Take delight in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Psalm 37, verse 4. Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. So we have a great promise. He'll give you the desires of your heart. And we have a command. Delight yourself in the Lord. And the command is the condition of the promise. So delight yourself in me, God says, and I will satisfy your heart. Somebody asked me one time, should you pursue joy or should you pursue obedience? And I said, that's like saying, should you pursue apples or should you pursue fruit? Because if you obey the command, delight yourself in the Lord, you up. Built over time, this is my love for you. Steady and pure, patient and sure, this is my love. Are pursuing joy, and so obedience and joy can't be contrasted like that. We are called upon to delight ourselves in the Lord. And here's a big glitch for a lot of people. You can't enjoy God that you're not sure is for you. If you've got this niggling sense, this is my love for you. So shout for What's against me? He's always disappointed in me. He's not going to accept me. Then to try to muster up delight in a God like that is going to be impossible. And therefore, we let our eyes run to Isaiah, another Old Testament book, chapter 53, verse 6, where it says, All of us, like sheep, have gone astray. We've turned everyone to his own way. And that sounds like, well, we're in trouble with God. And then he adds, And God has laid upon him, upon the servant, upon Jesus, the iniquity of us all. Which means already in the Old Testament we're being taught we have a Savior, we have a substitute, we have a Jesus, a Christ, a Messiah who has borne our sins. So now when we're commanded, delight yourself in the Lord, we're standing on a very firm foundation of acceptance. God is on our side. He loves us, which means we're free. We can lay all that aside and just look at his beauties and be utterly and deeply and profoundly happy in what we see because it's totally there for us. And so delighting ourselves in the Lord becomes the all-consuming passion of our lives, which means that it shapes the desires of our heart. If you delight yourself in the Lord fully, that conforms your heart to him, and therefore the promise is going to be true, but it's going to be true like this. He will give you all the desires of your heart that enable you to enjoy him to the full. He will give you all the desires of your heart which are rooted in and focused on him. So, run to the cross. He have blessed his day that all the elders say that this love is worth the wait. Let go and hear the sound pull all the beggars down Find the forgiveness, enjoy the acceptance, look at the beauties of the Lord, be satisfied in Him, and then let your heart run wild with God-exalting, God-centered desires in this world. Good dreams, God dreams. Delight yourself in the Lord. I will never forget that night I finally decided to drop out of my third and final year of law school to chase a dream. But now I realize he wasn't cheering me on to make it big on music row. He was cheering me on because he knew all of the growing pains I was getting ready to go through for my good. Maybe you're dreaming big right now. That's awesome. There is nothing wrong with dreaming big. Dream big dreams. But if you are a believer, I encourage you to make sure your dream is more than just a big good dream. I encourage you to make sure that it's a big God dream. 
God, you are my creator, redeemer, savior, and healer. You hold my life together with your love. And yet I confess that I still sometimes choose things that don't matter instead of you. Please forgive me. Help me to delight in you. Above all other things, align my desires with your desires as I build my life around you. In Jesus' name, amen. Take delight in the Lord and He will give you the desire, give you your heart's desire. And save the profile. This is my love for you. Steady and pure. Thanks for spending time with us today. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. This is my love for and share the story. He haven't blessed his day. That all the elders say That this love is worth the wait Let go and hear the sound Pull all the beggars down I'll cherish the one I found but strong Make sure you don't just have a big good dream. Instead, you must have a big God dream. God is for me. He is supporting me and my dream. God wants me to completely trust in Him and to just delight and enjoy myself in His presence. God wants me to spend time with Him daily and to seek His face daily. Lord of truth and delight, please teach me and help me to delight in you every day and every moment of my life. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this relationship you have bought for me through your precious blood. Help me to always hold my relationship with you, with the Father, and with the Holy Spirit as my most prized and most important possession. And please bless all my earthly relationships through it. Thank you so much, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' most magnificent name, Amen.